weeks, the wedding season is here. A joyous time filled with love, excitement, and, well, credit card bills. Between the travel, the gifts, the clothing, a new study reveals that the price of attending a wedding is staggering. WBZ's Christina Rex breaks down just how much we're shelling out to hear loved ones say, I do. I'm going to five weddings. Tis the season for love and empty wallets. A bank rate survey says the average American will spend $611 per wedding and $774 in the Northeast just to attend as a guest this year. I'm not surprised. Yeah, especially if you're going to go to a bachelorette party or a bachelor party. Does that number surprise you? A little bit. No. <laughs> This couple is in Salem for their own wedding this weekend, a destination for their Midwestern guests. Because I've been paying for everything for the wedding, so <laughs> paying for the vendors, so I know how much it is and how much my <laughs> bridesmaids have to pay. <laughs> you might have noticed more invitations in your mailbox and more extravagant celebrations. And if so, you're not alone. Experts say love is in the air and wedding season has turned up a notch coming out of the pandemic. So how much money should you be spending? You give a gift based on your budget. Inside the historic Hawthorne Hotel wedding venue in Salem, etiquette expert Jody Smith breaks down how much a wedding gift should be. If I was going out for a really nice Saturday night, what I would spend on that, I times it by two. And if I'm going with my significant other, I times it by four. There are other factors that can lessen the gift amount. Do I need to stay in a hotel? Do I need to buy a dress? Do I need to go overnight? The recent survey found annual wedding spending differs by generation, with Gen Z spending the most, about $1,200 on weddings. Yet I think my parents are shocked and alarmed by how much money we spent on weddings. Also, two in five Americans say they'll watch their spending this year because of the economy. One in five think wedding attendance will strain their budget, and one in five will take on credit card debt to attend. It's fine to go to the weddings, but you should not be digging yourself into a financial hole. Jody's advice? It's okay to say no. One of the beautiful things about RSVPing no is that you don't have to give someone an explanation. What you do is you express your regret. In Salem, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Mm. Oh, but you hate to say no. I, I, I can understand why people yeah. just say, okay, I'll, I'll pay for it later. Well, you don't hate to say no if it's a certain person. You know, <laughs> right, you right. Say, but I'm saying if you hate to say no, you Some hate people to say you no. love to say no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is true. But then you're probably not invited to their wedding. That's true. That's a very good point. And you know what, Eric? Sometimes it's not the wedding itself, but if you're in the wedding party and, oh. you know, the bachelorette it's party. The, wedding the, party. the engagement right? gift. And, the wedding yeah. party yeah. is like another whole mortgage. It absolutely. is. I I am Love is great. for a wedding, though. You got yeah. a couple cousins and single friends left. I'm looking at you. Best way to save money is like just be like me and have so no you. friends, right? <laughs> That's just not true.